Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator, the original. And we are back at the Amazon River DLC. And in the last episode, we were at position number four. That's what we have been doing this entire time, as we've been walking through the spawn points and seeing what kinds of fish are at those locations. But at this point, I think we're going to go to 5, which is across the river from the point number 4. And that's where we caught the Arapaima in the last episode. Alright, and we are now over by that building that we used to be able to see across the, across the way. What are those up there? Those are some big birds. And, of course, it is raining, and it is, well, a rainforest. Those vultures? Oh my god, they're huge. Anyway, <laughs> let's just see what we got going on here. Now we're across the river, so I'm thinking that we're going to have more Arapaima in the vicinity here. We're going to hit the H for the Hunter Vision. Kind of get us an idea what's out there. Uh, it looks like more Arapaima, but they're not really big ones. We can come over here and take a look too. Now I've got my settings so that I can use my hunter vision fairly soon after using it. We also have a dock over here too. Okay, that's cool. Let's try the dock here. Alright. Okay, yeah, that's Arapaima, alright. I'm not sure what those little fellows are down there. We might try fishing for them as well, just to see what they are. But, last time I was float fishing for these guys. And I think that's my four, yeah, number four rod. And it looks like they're just way out there. On the other side of things. I don't know if I threw it out far enough or not, guys. I guess we'll find out here in a moment. But I am going to take... I don't know if I'm going to change my leader depth or not. I think I've got it at a meter. It says smaller hook, so... Let me try. That doesn't always mean anything. If the fish isn't quite close enough to it... it may still show that and sometimes they still bite anyway smaller hook or no so I don't totally trust that it's a one on hook it's not that huge okay now it says the hook size is proper so that's that means that we are close to those fish There's something just swam underneath there not sure what it was, but it was in the depths. Alright, I think we may need to take another look-see. Yeah, I think they moved. Well, heck, they've moved so much I can't even see them anymore. Hmm. Well, they might need to resort to a smaller, some smaller stuff here, guys. I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Okay. Let's switch over to this. I'm going to take, I'm not really using this to go after anything, per se. 
I'm actually doing a little reconnaissance because I can use this rod to kind of get an idea what's down in here. Now let me see here. I just saw something swimming around. If I could figure out what in the world we got going on here. Yeah, I think this this lure is way too big for just about anything here, but kind of like to get an idea of what we're dealing with. Let's see if I can't get a lift and drop going. Okay, now oh, I see what they are. A kopus or whatever they call them. Yep, I think that's what they are. Not sure I'm pronouncing that right, but once we get it out of the water, I'm not entirely certain they won't go for this. Then again, they might not. I'm getting a lift Okay, so we need to go back to our float rod. We need to check our baits here. What is that called? I am... It's not the Piara. That's because none of these are going to go for that. Let's go with the baits here. Let's see, what... A papa, that's what it's called, a papa. Almost certain. So that's what we're going after. We got f they'll go for flies. It looks like they will go for maggots. They will not go for peas. So they like Okay, so they do go for semolina balls as well. Alright. That's good to know. I'm trying to remember if I have a smaller float rod than that. Well, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and equip these. We're going to need some small hooks here. Probably six or eight in size be my guess. We'll go with six in, on this one. We're going to change this over, and we'll use a semolina ball for that. I don't think I can put anything more on there, no. Alright. Number two. We'll take that down to it. We'll take that down to an eight, just to be sure. I don't know if a, pop, a papa's, or whatever they're called. Nope, they do not go for that. But they do go for maggots. Alright. And the float rod. Do I have a smaller? I think I have a smaller float rod here. Uh, well, yeah, that might be alright. It's a little light, but I think we can make it work. Let's see. We do need a smaller hook. I would say at least, let's try an 8. I've never heard, I've never seen it say it's too small. I've only seen it as saying it was proper or too small. Let's see. Yeah, waxworm. Okay. Yeah, let's put waxworm on there. I love waxworms. Waxworms are one of my favorites to work with. I am going to put a smaller bobber on here as well. Let's use this one because I don't have to buy it. Alright. Okay, for this one, that's too heavy. Alright, there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and put our rod pod down. Whoop, that's not what I wanted to do. Not sure how it's defying gravity there, but <laughs> it is. Let's see here. 
Okay, looks like they've all kind of migrated over there. So we'll throw this one right out there. And the third one Throw it right there. And then we'll try to see. It says the hook size is proper, so that's that sounds good to me. All right. Did say it was proper, or we can we don't get a bite we can move to another spot now if something does bite on those bottom rods come on fellas oh, never mind we got one right here ooh okay didn't really expect to be a whole lot of resistance like this, but I mean, aren't these little fish? Okay, he's he's putting up a good he's putting up a pretty good fight. Come on, let's see what we got here. Yep, it is an apapa. I called it. And it's a new record for me. 5.73 pounds. It's not a bad looking fish. And I caught him off semolina ball. Alright. Yeah, I still have some faith in the in the uh, wax worm. But let me see, is that leader, how long is my leader on this thing? Okay, I've got, I've got it at a meter. Let's, looks like, look to me like they were pretty deep. I want to set it to the full length. And since that one picked it up off the bottom, I'm thinking that we're going to have a little more luck if we stick it closer to the bottom there. Ah, there we go. There we go. And it is a peacock bass. It's the first one we've caught. Very nice. That was very, very much unexpected. That must have been what I saw that had the stripes off in the distance. For some reason, I thought the Apapas had stripes. I forgot totally that peacock bass were here. There we go. He's not very big, but he's a pretty little fish. 2.04 pounds. That's actually a little undersized for most places, but... I mean, usually they come a little bit bigger than that. Really raining here, jeez. Those freaky birds. <laughs> well, oh, never mind. We got another one off the bottom rod. Same rod. Semolina ball. It's probably another Apapa, I bet you. And it's not going to be a peacock bass. They're predators. They're not going to go for that doughy stuff. And what did I put on the other one? Worm, I think. Wasn't it? No, I put a maggot on there. Now this has a number six hook. Yep, it's another Apapa. Not as big as the last one, but still fairly decent sized. It's 
throw that back out there again. Let me check this other one here. Let's see, I've got got this maggot on here. Now uh, didn't look like anything goes for the grasshoppers. I am going to put a wax worm on here only because I want to see if it changes the bite rate on it, maybe. Still says it's proper, that's good. Makes me feel confident. <laughs> I'm not just wasting my time here. Alright, let's see, we got this back. Let's put a dough ball in there. That's the only other one I saw that they seem to specifically go for. Plus, it kind of stands out. I mean, it's bright white, and the wax worms in this don't really shine up white like they usually do in most games. Still says it's proper, so the fish here will probably go for it. I didn't check my hunter's vision, though. It's the only thing. They kind of move around a lot, so... If we don't get any bites, and I haven't seen any swimming around, I don't know that there's any down here at the moment. Wait a minute, let me make, let me just check to make sure here. Uh, oh. Ah, looks like we got a different rod this time. Now this is the wax worm, I believe. Yeah, I did change this from a maggot to a wax worm. Thought I'd see if we get something different or if we're going to be focusing on the same thing. I think we are get, getting the same thing here. I think it's another papa. Yep, just a little bit smaller. They're getting smaller here. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to throw this out one more time. And I think we're going to see if we can't move on to position 6 this time. Try to get two positions in each episode if we can. Okay. Let's see what's right over here. I'm not sure what those are, but could be some really large apapa. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. I'd like to get a big one, as big as they come. Well, we've managed to catch quite a few different species over the past few episodes. We're not just sticking with one, so... Even though there were Arapaima out here earlier, I'm kind of glad we didn't get them because we've already seen them. Aha! There we go. And that is an Apapa. And a decent one, too. Okay, this rod is a little bit on the light side, so we're going to have to fight him. I think the line test is like just under three, just under four pounds. We got him though. We got him at 2.58 pounds. Not a bad little fish. I wish we could spin around and get a better light, but I'm afraid we can't do that. Well, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and grab these and move on to another position here because we do have stuff to do 
All right, let's see. So now we want to go downstream quite a bit. This is position six. Now, I don't know if that was the building that we were located or if that's a new building, but I don't think that's the same building, honestly. I think we're much further down than that. So, let's see if I can see anything in the water. Looks like most of what we got is over there, and there's something swimming around just off the... What is that? Well, there's one way to find out. Reconnaissance. What is going on? What? What? <laughs> Some screwball-y things going on with that. And I think we'd probably be better off just sticking with the the big mass of fish that's off in the distance there. No idea what we're dealing with here though. Well let's go ahead and put the rod pod down. Okay, well, this one we've got semolina balls. I couldn't tell you if that's what's out there, if it's a papa or something else. Now this one we've got wax worms that should be Okay, a lot of things go for wax worms. That might be a catfish. Honestly, that really might be a catfish. Which means we are using the wrong kind of bait altogether. That could be what our problem is. Let's equip a leech. Actually, let's go to the fourth rod here. Let's equip a leech. Let's see what size hook we got. One odd. Let's let's equip a let's equip that. Doesn't matter. At least we'll get an idea of what we're dealing with here, guys. See what we got out here. Whoa. Okay. Now, this is a number six. had no problem hooking that. That's why I'm, like I said, you've seen in a few episodes where the hook size, when it says it's not the proper size, when we still get, beat, you know, plenty of bites. Ah, it is a Tambiqui. Black Paku. out there making all that ruckus. I think it's another Tambiqui. Yep, I think that's what we got out there guys. Out there we got Tambiquis. Which means the bottom rods are gonna do really well. Oh there's no bait on there. Need to get some semolina balls. I don't know if it no it doesn't look like they go for that. You can't go any smaller than 12. They don't get any smaller. Ah, it is an Oscar. There we go. That's another new one. Nice one, too. Real pretty. 
He is a pretty fella. He is a pretty fella. So that's what's swimming around out here. No tiger Oscar. I'll be darned. New record, even though he's just under a pound. Yeah, don't believe the hook size thing. That is a bunch of crap. <laughs> I'd like to get a bigger one. They don't. I know they don't come that big, though. They're just not a really, really big fish. But there's another one. Awesome. We got him. Well, there you go, guys. That. Those are all together new species just from moving down a little bit down river he's even tinier look at him 0.24 pounds he's a teeny little fella he'd be good for a fish tank <laughs> yeah let's see if we can't get one more of those little fellas I don't know if we're getting little ones because of that tiny hook, hook or if it's because they really are that small around here. But they definitely are going for those semolina balls. With They are jumping on that. Oh. We got somebody head this way. I don't know if I spooked you. No, I might have. Nope, he's persistent. He is our persistent little fella. We got gotcha. you. Pretty fish, pretty fish. All right, he's bigger. Nice. Yeah, he's the biggest one so far. He's just over a pound. Let's see if we can get a picture of him. Alright, let's sell him. Alright, guys. Well, that's positions five and six. I think we're going to be moving downstream even further and see what's going on down there. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.